So here I am at Video Guys. I've just picked up the Rode AI Micro, and one of the reasons for getting this is in my hand here somewhere. I walk back to my car. Ta -da! There's the box. There's the box. One of my reasons for getting this is so that I can connect external mics to this little camera and not suffer from the wind noise that it's probably suffering from now. So um, I'll uh, get back to the car and uh, head home and then we can have a long talk about it while I play with it. See you soon. Oh, I only just got to the shop in time. Now I have to say I don't really approve of unboxing videos. I mean you open a box and there's stuff in it but um, this one's going to be a bit difficult, different because I've decided kind of more peaceful out here looking out on the park in my car which is quiet and this is portable equipment so let's try and do it portably. So first of all, woo, first of all, first of all, here is the box. I'm going to open it off camera because that's easier and then take out the uh, contents. Okay, I've hacked my way into the box, which proves to be surprisingly difficult. Um, beautifully packed in cardboard and stuff, nothing um, planet ending there. And the little device itself happens to be more or less the same kind of size as the um, Action 2. In terms of if I put this up to the screen, for instance, it would entirely, yeah, it just covers it. It's a really good matching item. And straight away I'm thinking maybe I can actually stick this on the back of the um, screen unit hmm. with a bit of Velcro or something. Anyway, it comes with three leads, um, USB-C, USB-A and iOS. A little bit, yeah, they're quite short. Uh, when I get home I'll be able to test whether it works with a standard longer lead if that's required. And um, a quick start guide. And I think in order to configure it, because I'm wanting to uh, use it in stereo, I'm going to have to download the app and all that sort of thing. But basically the, the device itself has a USB-C here to connect it with. There we go, that's plugged in there. And then on the bottom you've got um, mic sockets and, there we go, mic sockets and a headphone socket. Mic 1, mic 2, headphone and... Um, yeah, that's all there is to it, but it is a lot more compact than I expected it to be, which is entirely good news. Um, okay, I'll be doing some downloading next. Okay, so I've downloaded onto my Android phone the Rode Central app, which I think is the one for configuring it. When I connected that in, it was recognised by the phone straight away, and um, the app uh, immediately downloaded a, a firmware update, and... Um, yeah, now let's see if I can configure it. Back in a moment. And this is the moment that people have been waiting for. Yes, the Rode AI Micro does work with the um, Action 2. Um, I need to play around with the levels a bit and I'm using it with in-ear microphones, which is what I had in my pocket. And so uh, speech quality will not be ideal because it's really picking up speech from inside my head but um, in a moment I may go for a little walk around to see what I get out in the uh, park back in a moment well it's been an interesting afternoon um, after I tried to test the device in the car there was an immediate problem with the um, Roland binaural mics because they seem to work only from the left channel and um, the sound seemed to be coming from the middle, all very weird. Um, so I went home and I've tested further and I've been in touch with Rode. And the upshot is that um, it works perfectly fine with the Audio-Technica um, stereo shot shotgun mic that I'm using at the moment. I'm going to waggle that around and as you can hear it's nicely in stereo. And, um, and that's all fine, um, the apps are good. Um, that come uh, that you can download. Road Reporter has got all the settings into it in it, so you can configure it, and um, it does as you can hear work perfectly fine with the 
uh, action two, which is good, uh, which is in a way the, the whole point of it. But um, as a device to get decent microphones into your Android phone, it's it's uh, to be commended. Um, the size is excellent. It's tiny. It uh, weighs almost nothing. It's no big deal to have it dangling on the end of the wire as it is. Um, but the uh, very helpful guy at Rode Microphones um, spent some time testing, evaluating and um, making doubly sure that there was no inherent problem with the device because I told him immediately what the problem had been with the uh, little um, in-ear Roland mics. And he's puzzled by that and I'm puzzled by that. I've double checked that the uh, Roland in-ear mics are working fine into a Zoom recorder. They work perfectly well. And um, but just for some reason, possibly related to plug-in power, I don't know. Um, they only work on one channel when connected to this particular device, which is a disappointment because that was um, one of the uh, chief uh, devices I was planning to use uh, with this. Um, so uh, I'll be interfacing with them a bit further I think on this issue to see if they can puzzle it out it's the kind of thing which maybe um, could be fixed in firmware if they can work out why it shouldn't work um, obviously the, the part of the problem is I don't have that mic there to um, to test with because um, a it's not one of theirs and b it's I think been discontinued even though it's it can still be bought but um, anyway so all in all, I give this a strong recommendation. It's probably the best interface you can buy for audio to the um, Action 2. Um, it's not cheap, but you know you get what you pay for. Um, it can be used with Android phones, with iOS devices, which I haven't yet tested, and with Windows devices, which I also not yet tested, but I don't see why it shouldn't. Uh, it's supposed to. And... Um, but there is this odd thing with this particular mic and who can tell whether one of your particular mics um, might not work. But I'm, I'd, I'd lay money it's this particular uh, Roland one has got some requirement in the way of powering or the like that makes it not want to work. Um, anyway, I'll probably come back with a more coherent review in a couple of days when I've tested out all the mics that I can lay hands on around the house. And um, but the chief takeaway at the moment is a it's a damn good little device, and b it does work fine with the action too. And um, see the notes below this video in order to get further details if you want to know more about the device itself. I'm not going to talk a lot about it because the uh, the road um, video about it tells you everything far more coherently than I would. And um, and I'll put further thoughts in there. So this is really just to prove that it works. It works. It works. Thanks for watching.